Why am I doing that? I can just zoom in. Red paint. <laughs> yeah, this is a mirror that I write right now with my, my lipstick. Could do it again. It's just not the same lipstick, so I don't know how well it will come off. <laughs> like, we could. Say something. Just testing things real fast. Okay. Red, red. <laughs> red, red. Okay. The other one looked a lot better. I'm a vandal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Paranormal PI. We are at, I am with my best friend, Shay. Subscribe to my channel. Yes. <laughs> it will be linked below. Where are we today, Emily? We are at the Stanley Hotel. <laughs> I know I've been here before and it's probably like three or four videos ago, but <laughs> I am back because I honestly loved it here. I loved like the vibe and everything. Yeah, I thought it was just like that creaking. My know. light? Yeah. My light's never creaked. Oh. <laughs> The sound like came from above us, which we're on the top floor. Yes, we are on. We are in room 428, which is the cowboy attic, the second most haunted room in the hotel. Stephen room, right? yeah, room 217 is the room that Stephen King stayed in. He was like, he was driving, and like in a snowstorm, and saw this hotel, and you know wanted to stop because there was a snowstorm. Like. There is now. Oh, I'm not going to show. <laughs> or we can. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's snowing. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. <laughs> but it's snowing. And Stephen King, he was driving in a snowstorm, saw the hotel. Um, apparently it was like all boarded up and it looked really creepy because the hotel was running out of money. Uh, so Stephen King loved that. So he's like, I'm going to stay here. He's like, oh, <laughs> creepy. Sounds like my place. <laughs> same. Same Steven thing. He stayed in room 217 and he had a nightmare about his son running around the halls in this hotel. And then one of the fire hoses like came alive and like ate his son. It was terrifying. He woke up. Um, during the tour guide I did say he talked to someone who worked here I believe. Who told him about a bunch of the creepy things that happened and then he went upstairs and had the nightmare. Oh. So he was already kind of in like a spooky vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had that nightmare and he like woke up sweating, terrified. He had to calm himself down so he went out onto the balcony, um, smoked a cigarette, and came up with the idea for The Shining. I do want to bring up that the movie, the movie is not was accurate. not filmed here. <laughs> it was like, Stephen King was very mad at it. He hated it. Um, so he went and created a mini series called the Shining Mini Series, which I got on my phone. I found it, and I'm gonna watch that. I'll let y'all know how it how it goes, because I'm really excited to watch it. She hated the movie. It was but a waste of my time. <laughs> no fun, I mean, I but... liked it because like it's a classic, but I really want to watch the mini series because I'm sure it's gonna be so much better. Yeah, it's way more accurate than the miniseries is. Yeah, I've read the book, and it's really good. So I'm hoping the miniseries will be good. So the Stanley Hotel is like the most famous and most haunted um, hotel in the U.S. So in our room, the cowboy attic, there is a cowboy here. <laughs> and, dun, dun, dun. and he likes 
to like mess with women. And there are no men here with us, it is just us two. Yes, it's just us two. Last time I had my brother, I don't know if like Cowboy didn't like that or something, but like we hardly got anything last time. So we're hoping, we are hoping this time we are going to try to get the cowboy to like come and play. Yeah, and you said last time. Well, I'll officially show you this. There's like case in here that has a bunch of like oh, objects. Yeah. I don't know if there actually was whatever. I don't his or think whatever. so because nobody really knows who the cowboy is. Yeah, but I feel like they could be used as trigger objects. So maybe we'll get something from that. Yeah. Um. So it's been reported that he's been like standing at the end of the bed and like watches you. Um. Sometimes he like kisses women on the forehead. Or just like stands over them. When I was here last time, I kind of felt him, but it was, it was not. It was like a warming presence. Like, I'm not scared of him. Scared of him at all. I mean, like it's kind of like talking about him and says like what he's done. Kind of sounds creepy. Yeah, I was like, mm. but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not as creepy as we make it sound. I don't know. But he seems. I chill. mean, if a ghost is kissing me in the middle of the night. It's a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know. Sus. <clears throat> There's also a ghost here. A little, like, I don't know, like seven or eight year old girl. I don't know how, like, how old. But her name is Lucy. We believe that she's not actually a little girl and that she's actually a demon pretending to be a yeah. little girl. Because the demons, poser. Yeah, demons love to do that. They love to pose as, like, little girls to um <laughs> yeah that sounds really weird <laughs> pretend to be like just stuff, like so just they like can, like talk to you and everything get yeah feed off that trust. energy so they can that you can trust yes. them so it's easier to trust them and when they're actually demon so we believe that lucy is actually a demon and i do not like her she terrifies me a lot we went on a tour to the theater building. I don't know if that's what it's hall. called. Concert hall. That one. We got a ton of pictures, so obviously we'll throw them out, but we weren't allowed to film over there. But that's where Lucy comes from. She used to sleep down there is what the theory is. And then she froze when the people found her hiding out. They like threw her out and she froze to death or something. That's the story, but there's no official record. Yeah. But that's apparently who Lucy is. Yeah. So this hotel has like a main staircase that has like a lot of action. Um, there's <laughs> like there's a picture I can put it up. I put it up in the action. other video, but I'll put it up again. It's just a, like this little girl on the staircase, and it's really creepy. It's it went. I, I think it ended up on the news. Like it was wow. huge. There seem to be a lot of children spirits here as well. Yeah, learning. a lot of kids like to peek in your door, especially on the fourth floor where we're at. Yeah, a lot of little kids running around and looking in your rooms and stuff, apparently. And um, on that staircase, there's like two mirrors facing each other, which creates a vortex. And um, also, the hotel is built on like limestone, which attracts. Oh, is that why the tunnels were like sparkly? Though? I was just like, they had a little sparkly rock. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I was just seeing shit. People like us, like ghost hunters, we definitely believe that there's a vortex there and it just brings a, a, a lot of ghosts. Stanley, F.O. Stanley, kind of built this hotel. And he is also from, like, the Stanley car? Yeah. Um, he made, like, fastest car at the time so he was really famous for that and I guess that's how he got the money <laughs> for this hotel yeah. um, but then he died of tuberculosis oh no he got tuberculosis he was told by a doctor to come up here for like better air just and like to get away and everything so he built a hotel for people to stay at like his friends and stuff um, and he he built the concert hall for his wife Flora which she did like seances and and witchy things and there was a, there was concerts there but she was like too shy to perform so other people who were performing there like famous people what okay. 
These freaking things. <laughs> Jim Carrey stayed in 217 because, like, apparently he was a huge fan of Stephen King. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber um, yeah, was filmed here. Yeah, it was filmed, it was filmed here. I didn't know until we got here. <laughs> While they were filming it, he wanted to stay at, in 217 because he was a huge fan of Stephen King. But he only lasted, like, three hours, and he wants nothing to do with the hotel anymore. And, then, like, he hasn't said much on it either. Yeah, no, he won't talk about it. Like, he refuses to answer questions on it, like, from fans and stuff. So, the floor that we're on, which is the fourth floor, is the most haunted level. So, hopefully. Hopefully we get some good stuff. We're both believers. We got all the ghost equipment. Also about Lucy, is she, like, likes lollipops? Oh, I am really shaking. What the hell? Oh my gosh, I need to hold my arm. That's crazy. It's standing Knock up. it over, Lucy. Lucy, can you put it back down flat? Uh, Hi, Lucy. We got some candy for you. I think you have to do it with the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> I have a daughter named Lucy. It's pretty cool you share the same name. So like that's why we did the lollipop before, that's we got a lot of box now. I put mine somewhere in the hotel. So the Estes method, the I saw the curtain move in the... Oh. I don't know, I'm seeing shit, okay. The SS method that we like doing a lot with the headphones and, and, the, and the spirit box that originated here in Estes Park at the Stanley Hotel. So, a little bit inf of information that was covered during the uh, tour. There was a security guard named Paul. He had a heart attack at the hotel and he died. He's known to be seen around. He's kind of like a really big guy. And he's also known to be a drunk. They didn't say that in the tour, but he is known to be drunk and they usually have like a place for like offerings of like alcohol and drinks and stuff for him. There's a mirror down there that just like randomly showed up outside of the hotel. There's been a lot, like a lot of tours gone through taking pictures and there's been a lot of like the ghosts in the pictures. So that that mirror is very popular. The cowboy apparently smells like cigarettes. So if we ever smell cigarettes. Could be him. I mean we don't smoke. And like we're not allowed to smoke in the hotel, like no one is. So if we smell a cigarette, it's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all. We are kinda just doing stuff and be taking up time until like 3 a.m. and then we will do like Estes method. Oh not a Ouija board because I didn't bring a Ouija board. But <laughs> I bought like all my other ghost stuff. So we will do some uh, you know Estes method in here. Did you have the REM pod last time you were here? No. Yeah we got I got the REM pod, I got everything. Except for the Ouija board. So we're gonna do that at 3 a.m. We might I go out Maybe into that staircase again like I did in the other video. I'm just like, like my brother doesn't really believe in the paranormal. And so we're all kind of theorizing that we didn't really get anything because my brother didn't really believe. Ghosts don't like yeah. Shun the non-believer! Which is like really, I don't know, it's weird. And it's very like, sus. 
<laughs> it's like if you believe, then like you are going to be more like looking out for that kind of stuff and you'll be able to see something. Yeah. Because you're looking for it. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I second guess myself all the time. I'm an open minded person. But that's why I'm doing this. That's why we're here is to prove it to ourselves and prove it to you guys. So that's what we're doing. Amateur Sam and Colby. <laughs> oh, I, I do want to share this. So like during the tour, um, we went to the concert hall. We were like able to go up on the stage and like both Shay and I got really, like, we felt, felt like heavy chest. Heavy, yeah, we felt Very heavy. heavy. I mean, I feel a little lightheaded, but I mean, like, that could have been from the heaviness. Um, like, I went out there, and I felt weird, so I went back, and I shoved Shay out onto she's the- She's like, get it. Yeah, she's, like, she's like, go on the stage, and she pushed me out. Like, I don't want to tell you before you experience it yourself, because yeah. I want to match that. Yeah. I want to know what happens to you so that I know that it's more- real kind of confirming it yeah so also i'm pretty yeah. sure this isn't ghost related but we were walking around this fourth floor and our hair was like static you just standing up yeah everywhere. i mean i don't know what it would be but like that didn't happen to you guys last time did it no it's so weird no. <laughs> that was very weird i was just like why is her hair flying <laughs> so yeah i guess we will check back in on you later um if nothing really happens until three, then we'll see you at three. Times like hold it. But moves every time. Oh. Stay. And fall. <laughs> okay. Good now. You stay. You stay. <laughs> okay. That was so weird. It's closing. Is it? What the fuck? Can you open it now? Or can you just close it? Are you capable of doing the opposite? It always stops right there. It does not fully close, ever. I mean, like, if you look at the thing, I mean, it's tilted, but that's just the bottom. Not that part. Oh, well, maybe it is. Hold on, let me look. <laughs> oh, look. But, like, still, it only does that when I was in there. That was weird. Yeah. started so we are gonna do the access method and then we're gonna get out some of my other equipment and see if anything's happen anything happens what the fuck sounds like something like a metal yeah and like there's no metal in this room but like so there are like doorknobs but no idea what that would be We haven't heard that sound at all, the whole time we've been here. No. There is a huge storm going on outside. But, like, you know, we are taking that into account. Yeah, that 
That was not something from outside. That was in here. Yeah. Sounds like they're ready to talk. I'm gonna put this on after. Dead. So many clicks. Jay. Okay, so she can't hear anything. And we got the spirit box playing different channels, running through channels. Headphones, so she can't hear anything. And blindfolded. So I'm gonna ask the question, and we'll see what comes through the radio. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? It's been a while. How are you? I mean, I'm pretty tired. Good. How, how are you? Good for you. you my Hi. Hi. Is Lucy here? What? Is Lucy here? Yes. Is there anyone here that would like to talk to us? Creepy. Was there someone in the shower with me? Under. Under what? Is there anyone here that would like to talk to Fun. us? Can you only speak when I speak? Jeez. I love spirits. Like you or? Go. Go where? There's just so much like beeping. There's like nothing there. But, well, it sounds like I'm talking about R2D TV. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly like what we felt, what we, we heard last time too. There's beeping? Yeah. There's a bunch of beeping here. I don't know what you changed it to, but it sounded like, like a train. Like chugging on a track. Or like consistent wind blowing the whole entire time. It looked like something touched your hair. I know you turned your head, but it was like. I did not turn my head. Yeah, like not so aggressively. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's not a lot there. Yeah, I was trying so hard, but there was like. It would shuffle through a couple stations and go beep, boop, beep, beep. Shuffle through a couple stations, beep, boop, beep, beep. And I just couldn't hear anything. Okay. EMF detector, flashlight, and a pod. I will just like ask some questions, try to get people to come speak it with us. Alright. If there's anyone here, Cowboy, Lucy. The other spirits. Um, come up and try to touch one of these lights. None of our equipment will hurt you. It'll just make a noise and turn a light on. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with us? Cowboy, are you here? We welcome you guys to come and talk with us. We just want to get to know you, your story. Prove to ourselves and other people that you exist. A very obvious noise around the room somewhere. You know we had someone kind of closing the Shower door earlier. Is that spirit here? Whoa. 
Thank you. Would you like to come over and speak with us? Like, I'll show you how these work. Just gotta tap this. I'll go up. Pretty easy. Over here, you just gotta stand. And then you just gotta twist this. Turn it off. You like the temperature of being at 76? Mm. Mm. I think we both turned it down. I know, we both turned it down and it went back up to 76. Do you want us to leave? Well. You're more than welcome to come over and hang out with us. I feel like I keep seeing someone walk around. Last chance before we move on. Is there anybody who would like to talk with us? Jesus Christ, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright. Third time if that's someone. Still 76. Does that smell again? I smell like a cologne. What's the fuck? Flashlight on for me. If you do, it'll be the first time I've ever seen a spirit turn one on. Touch it? Yeah. All you have to do is touch it. And it should turn on. This is literally why you came here. We'll just be like, oh, we were both sophisticated. There's no way they got that room. Don't expect people to go ghost investigating. 
kind of comes with getting haunted room. in the morning. The timing was just too perfect. I think that was our little 3 a.m. adventure. We're gonna sleep. Hopefully. Shay will. Huh. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. <laughs> We're going into the maze now. We'll never be seen again. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Ah, Shay, you could do what the kid did. Good dude. And then, no, and then cover your tracks. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that wasn't that smart, because, I mean, like, you can see where someone had to cover up their tracks. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Where did we go the wrong way? <laughs> Last time I just hopped over and cheated. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Hello, Stanley. <laughs> I you think you could tell which way the snow was coming down. <laughs> I would love to come here during the summer. <gasps> oh my god, there's a bunny. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my gosh! That was exciting. I was like, something's moving. Oh, it's a bunny! <laughs> And look at the little tracks right here. Oh my gosh. Come here, I'll steal you. Hey. Yes, I didn't cheat this time. Okay, that was the maze. Maybe I'll cut some of it out so you guys don't know how to get through it. <laughs> Are you going back through? <laughs> Oh, what do you think? I definitely want to come back to 217. Yeah. Gotta figure out how to get that room. Get right here. Step right there. Right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, when should I scan a phone for you? I don't know about scan a phone for We have been cleansed from the demons in our soul. Maybe. Wait! <laughs>